right, the Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you gotta stand out and take note. When you fight someone like that, so close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino, Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. Sugar Sean O'Malley has stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. So here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did in outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete who was an absolute marauder, but now it has felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill befitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it, and right now, they're all chasing the Volk man, Alexander And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third man in the octagon tonight. All right, well, you can feel the energy and the buzz as we return to what has really become a destination on this UFC calendar here in Abu Dhabi at the still fairly new Eddie Hot Arena. A lot of athletes getting a chance to compete here tonight and lapping it all up in us. Nice combination. A couple of chins here being tested early. An uppercut landed. Oh, nice jab. Huge kick to the leg. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Leg kick checked by O'Malley. All right, so we will see early on how the Volkman chooses to proceed. And no surprise to see Volkanovski go to the leg kick. I mean, we have seen this constantly with Alexander Volkanovski, especially in the first Max Holloway fight. He won the fight behind the leg kicks. He is so smart inside of the octagon that he will throw these leg kicks, not hard, but they draw something out of you, and then he starts to attack you with things that have more force. This guy's tremendous, and that is why he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. The <laughs> 
best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Quick level change now. He went secret. He's always taking the right. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change it immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you. It is not comfortable. So you need to be trying to move. Make them make a decision, a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish, and then you try and counter it. Volkanovski's pass attempt denied. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Oh, that's in the books. Stop, stop, stop. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken, like, a five-finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like that. And full, I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with his shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Straight punch lands. Oh, look at the welts all over that right thigh. Really starting to bruise now. Big power shot there. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockout early, he has to feel good going forward. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the this guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassed this guy on the feet. You just got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Right kick is there again for Alexander Volkanovsky, you see. Those leg kicks. He's so good at registering where his opponent's going to be. So he throws the leg kicks to build a read. Right now, he lands another one. And as we expect, Alexander Volkanovsky is once again ahead in the fight. Oh, he's hurt bad. And now a left. It's a good right hand right there. We approach the two minute mark in round two. Takedown defense is there. Look at how he drives the team right into his opponent's midsection. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Mo quick entry. He oh! Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Man, this is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back and forth. Connected with a solid punch right there. Shot of double leg. Good round. All right, 
so the kicks to the body, sir. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, body shot. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, flying knee to the head. Big shot range for both guys. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Push kick there to the body. right now. Perhaps it was that last kick to the right leg that caused him the problem, so... With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, and he's back up again. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks. Just... Oh, yeah, yes, he's in right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot... Back to his feet. He's going guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, submission defense on full display. Oh, he said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Like that. O'Malley's looking for an armbar here. He is no one trick pony. Ooh, looks like it might be locked in. Once he gets you going, he's got so many ways to finish armbars. Oh, belly down now. So a big knockdown. You ready? You ready? Go All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, nice kick. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them. With one of the greatest knockouts you will see. Oh, Lee. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, eight seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Sean O'Malley.
So the Sugar Show is in full effect here tonight as we congratulate Sean O'Malley and his MMA lab teammates. And you start to wonder what type of fighter is going to be able to hand this guy his first loss inside the octagon. He has been on an absolute tear, and it's a tear that continued here tonight.